First of all, some words on the motivation for our work. In our department at the German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment, we carry out research in the field of mining alternative methods to animal experiments. In particular, my research consists in mining the scientific li uh, literature currently Medline for such alternative methods. These alternative methods are based on the so-called 3R principles, namely replacement, reduction and refinement, as shown in this slide. Replacement aims to rely on in vitro methods or non-vertebrate animals instead of vertebrate animals such as mice, monkeys or fish. Reduction aims to reduce the number of animals as well as to acquire as much data as possible from the experiment, as long as it doesn't imply in more suffering for the animal. Finally, refinement aims to develop methods or housing conditions that will cause less suffering to the animals. The scope of our SMAFIR project is to develop a search engine to support researchers for finding these alternative methods, following the statements of the German laws as indicated in this slide. There are two important aspects when searching for a potential alternative method. A. The planned research question, that is, a publication that describes a potential alternative method, should address the same research question inputted by the user. Currently, an existing publication from Medline. B. The alternative method should comply with one of the three R principles. Currently, we are addressing only the replacement principle. As an example of an input document in our system, I show the research question addressed by the publication aspect A, that is, mutation in a particular gene that could cause Parkinson disease. Given this publication that describes an animal experiment on mice, as indicated by B, the researcher might wonder whether there is already an alternative method for evaluating this same research question. Here I show a potential alternative method, since this publication also addresses the same research goal, that is, mutations on that particular gene as cause for Parkinson's disease. However, the method described in this publication relies on rats, as indicated by the B aspect, and thus it does not constitute a valid alternative method that should be returned by our system for that input document. Here I show another potential alternative method, since this publication also addresses the same research goal. Again, mutation in that particular gene as cause for Parkinson's disease. But this time the proposed method relies on C. elegans, worms, which is a species not protected by the European or the German laws, and thus a valid alternative method to the input publication. In order to mine this publication, I developed a workflow that relies on various resources and tools. As shown on the left, we are annotating a corpus for the, for the identification of the methods for training test classification methods. This addresses the aspect B. We are also building some use cases to address the aspect A with respect to matching similar research questions. Some of these use cases have been already used for evaluation in a work that we published last year. Please check reference one below. Regar regarding the methods in the middle of the figure, we rely on test classification for the identification of the pro proposed methods, aspect B, and document zooming and text similarity for finding similar research questions across publication, aspect A. As for the ex external resources, as shown on the right, we rely on Medline for a pre-selection of, of similar documents. When showing results to the user, we highlight relevant entities which were automatically extracted by some tools, for instance, disease chemicals and species from Pubtato Central and cell lines from Cellosaurus. Finally, I'll refer to our use of pub, pub annotation ecosystem in the next slides. 
Regarding our integration with pub annotation, we store the discourse annotation or zones such as background, methods, results, etc. These were either automatically extracted by uh, argument side tool or are the original ones provided by Medline. We store them in two separate uh, repositories. We use text AE to highlight annotations retrieved from Pub Tato Central. Prior previous real time align them in Pub Annotation. We are currently trying Pub Dictionaries for the extraction of cell lines contained in Cellosalvos. We created a dictionary in Pub Dictionaries, as shown on the left, and an annotator in Pub Annotation, as shown on the right. However, we still have some issues with respect to the precision of detect de detected entities, since many false positives are usually detected. Finally, there are some issues that we would still like to either discuss or collaborate with the pub annotation team. Queries to pub annotation still take some time, given that we need to, que to query up to 200 publications on real time. Thus, we would like to discuss solutions to speed up this process, such as par parallelization of our queries or retrieval of multiple publications in a single query. Further, we would like to suggest support for document level annotations, which is actually a feature not supported by many annotation tools, as we recently noticed while preparing a survey on annotation tools. Please check reference to below. Finally, Pub Annotations provides built-in annotators for some services, and having one for the recently released Pub Tato Central would release us of query an additional resource and align them on real time. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll be glad to take some questions.